What's going on, everybody? Welcome to G Myers World. Right now, what we're going to be jumping into is the third game in my actual knockout tournament for weekend leagues. What happens is you got to play three games without losing one to qualify, and you got to do it like twice in a week. And then on the weekend, you can play for uh, a ridiculous amount of coins, somewhere around 250,000 um, coins. So it's really worth it. And one of the big things about weekend league that really concerned me, even last year when, um, you know, there were rumors about it, up until this year when EA Sports announced in blogs that it would be a thing would be dc glitching um if you guys are not aware or you know are not privy to the fact that people have different ways of disconnecting from the game and giving you the loss and some some of the people that i run into they really don't understand what's going on and that's why i'm making this video and that's why i stand for a lot of people that can't stand for themselves when it comes to that because i meet a lot of people that say yo you know what i don't play online because dudes be doing stuff and um, the game disconnects and I always get the loss. And I'm like, what? Like, uh, like what happened? And, you know, over the years, it was a lot easier. Back in the day, you may have played people that um, use what was called the Cain and Abel glitch and different things like that to, you know, boot you offline by, you know, taking your IP off or uh, turning your router, uh, your router off and things like that. Um, and there's, you know, EA Sports over last year, they made it so that lag wasn't an issue. Um, they made it so you played with your own connection. So I really enjoyed that aspect of the game and um the one thing though that they haven't really been able to tackle is this whole situation of dc glitching which is you know disconnecting the game and you know you're getting the loss um so i wanted to make sure that if anybody could share this with anybody from ea sports any of the developers anybody that's actually going to be monitoring um the weekend league you know matt markyle he's very very uh serious about you know dudes that do these type of things i'm uh, gonna absolutely 100% tag him with this video. Uh, Rex Dixon, uh, very, very well known in the community. He also helps a lot with these situations. And, um, you know, it, it's something that really needs to be, you know, taken care of accordingly because it doesn't make any sense for people to spend all this money to make their teams the way it is. I've already ran into guys that had teams that, you know, they might as well be a 99 overall. So, um, you know, they're putting a lot of time and money into the game. You would want to make sure that if you're winning, you get a win. And if you lose, you just lose. That, that's pretty much what it should be. Um, it shouldn't be anything else. It shouldn't be a fear of, you know, am I going to get DC glitch today? I had guys tweet me, you know, I got DC glitch four times today. Keep in mind that last year towards the end of Madden 17, there were several people that were uh, DC glitching the game. And I sent information out. Um, I don't know if that same individual um, is actively doing anything right now. Uh, as far as Madden 18 goes, I haven't really seen anything with the leaderboards. Um, but it is very easy to monitor who's actually cheating by just looking at the head-to-head -head, um, leaderboards. It's a regular situation. Now, in this situation right here with this gentleman that I'm playing, it's not a necessity that he actually DC glitched me, but it's 100% that he lost connection because I was live streaming. And my stream never went down, and uh, my, I'm looking at my router, and everything is fine. So I don't know if it's 100% um, his fault. What, what, I, what I do want to make known is that this is an issue. And this issue should be taken care of way before it starts getting deep into the Madden NFL 18 season. Because by that time, uh, it's going to be a lot more complaints. And this is something that's been yearly that's been an issue uh, with Madden overall. Um, going way back, uh, way back when people were selling gl uh, guides on how to DC glitch and things like that. So um, when it comes to these type of situations... We have to make sure that it is something that is on EA's list to be fixed. Because if it's not fixed, what, what does it matter if you're winning or losing? It doesn't really matter because you're going to run into somebody that's going to be doing this. At some point, you're going to run into somebody that's going to do it. And then when that happens, um, that's the only time that's going to be a concern for you. Now, I will tell you that after reaching out to EA Sports, they were able to adjust uh, my loss and um, I did uh, qualify instead of showing up as not qualified. But again, this is not about me being able to reach out and to have, you know, just my loss or DC glitch adjusted. This is for everybody to be able to know that, yeah, I'm going to I'm going to spend my money. I'm going to I'm going to buy these packs. I'm going to do things like that. And I'm going to be able to win when I win and lose when I lose. That's pretty much all you're doing. You don't want to have to go into a situation where it's like, all right, now I got to do the, now I got to do this, now I got to do that. I got to call this guy, I got to reach out to this guy. You just want to know that when you're getting a loss, it's your loss, and when you win, you win. So the simple way to deal with that is 
is to be more vocal and have more video evidence about it. Um, obviously, we live in an era where everybody's recording everything, and the PS4 and the Xbox One systems actually, you know, can record up to the last 15 minutes um, that you can actually submit. What I do urge you guys to understand is not everything is a DC glitch. And sometimes a lot of individuals that report DC glitching, they themselves lose connection. So there are ways that we can try to fix that. Um, namely, uh, that's why I choose to stream. Right now, I haven't played offline. I haven't played a ranked game offline simply for that reason. To try to, to try to make sure that if it happens, I am live and it's easier for me to be able to provide feedback for EA Sports because regardless of what you individuals think, they do listen to feedback and they do try to make um, you know, make it more of, of a situation where it's fair game. That right, that catch right there should not be in competitive mode. That that gave me a flashback to Madden 16. Um, but yeah, that that's besides the point. Um, I'm for for the most part, I'm really, really enjoying Madden 18 and all the work that they put into it to make it um, more of a different type of game than it was in 17 and adding the different modes and all these things and the way that they have Mutt set up. Uh, Jake Stein has done an unbelievable job. Mutt Guru, these guys, um, you know, Gibbs, Farls, all these guys, the guys that contribute uh, to making this game so good. Um, it, it all becomes minimal. If you can have an individual buy a way to just disconnect the game and know that, oh, yeah, they're not going to do anything. I've been doing it for the last couple of years. That's why my issue with it is so, so, it, it infuriates me to the point where, like I said, I have to make sure because I'm a part of this community the same way you are. And if you're one of those guys that are DC glitching, you're the guys that we need to get rid of. That, that's the biggest issue. Guys find different things to complain about. Like I see people complaining about zones and all this. They don't even understand zones. The one thing you can understand, though, is that people are going to do things to cheat to get wins. And the bigger the prize, the more likely with online gaming, people are going to cheat. So if, if this is going to be something that's going to take off, I think this might be the year where EA Sports completely tracks it and at least minimizes a glitcher's success of glitching. Because what happens with this is that, look, look, look what's gonna happen. If people are more uh, aware of the situation, and there's a way for them to be able to show proof, and the same people are doing it, there is no reason why that individual should be able to utilize the EA servers. The same way, if you get caught buying coins, your console gets banned and you're banned from EA servers, that's the same way that this should be addressed because it all works in the same type of way. So after he gets this pass right here, he goes out of bounds and things like that, you're going to see, I'm, gonna, I'm leaving everything in real time. Everything is in real time. So I don't know exactly what he did. He could have just lost connection. I know a lot of individuals that actually, you know, just disconnect their game and stuff like that, and they know that it works. I don't know what this gentleman did. So I, during the stream, the first thing that I do on stream is I'm saying to my guys, am I still alive? Am I still alive? I'm looking at everything. My router looks good. I got my Wi-Fi symbol on my phone. Everything is good. So I know I'm still alive, okay? I know I'm still alive. I know that I did not lose connection. What this does to me is, it makes me very, very, um, like, I, I don't, like, I have to be concerned that if somebody can just turn off their system, that the other person gets the loss. Because that would mean that something is going on internally with the servers that needs to be fixed to kind of be able to correct the problem to show which person stayed online and which person was taken offline. You understand what I'm saying? So this is what I got for my knockout tournament. And it was very, very upsetting. And that's why... This video was made to make sure that you guys understand that we can fight this together. We, we don't have to just sit back. They've been doing this for so long. People have been glitching in Madden for so long, and it hasn't been uh, something that's been a subject of, uh, of, of trying to be stopped enough because the bigger people, uh, the bigger YouTubers, they don't address these type of things. As I grow, I will continue to address these type of things because this affects everyone, everyone, no matter who you are. And uh, I'm, I'm also hearing that in Mutt Squads, if people start quitting out of the game, they also get the loss. These are things that can be addressed now so that we can enjoy Madden throughout the year because this game is a much better game than 17, and I'm really enjoying it. But to know that these situations can still happen is very, very upsetting. And what I need you guys to do that watch this video is to, is to first of all, share it with the EA Sports representative and, you know, get it out there that we need better 
uh, server protection for our wins and our losses if we're going to compete in these weekend tournaments. Thank you for watching. Have a good day. Until next time, one love.